Now I want to help you get started on your first project. Head over to Launch Designer and click the Launch Designer button. Keep in mind, 3D Tiny House Designer works only on Windows and Mac. If you're on a phone or tablet, switch to a computer or laptop. It's also best if you have a computer mouse with a scroll wheel. Trackpads will slow you down. Now let's start to create your first design. If you or your business have a few staple designs, use this first project to recreate one of them. If you're just starting out as a tiny house business, just use this first project to come up with a basic concept for your first design. Start with the configurator and enter your key dimensions. There you go, you have created your first basic shell. Now it's time to learn the basics of the software. As learning any new software can be daunting, we put together bite-sized video tutorials for every feature and tool. There are four key tutorials that I recommend watching as you get started. The first tutorial will help you to understand the interface. The second one will help you understand the view and the camera. The third one will help you to place and select objects. And the fourth one will help you to move objects. Then continue designing your first tiny house. Once you discover a new tool, watch the video for it. You can find all the tutorials here on our tutorial website. If you get stuck, keep in mind that every tool also has a tutorial panel, with helpful explanations as you hover over it. Once you have the tiny house at a rough but detailed enough stage, you should have all the basic skills you need and a great understanding of how the software works. Just reach out to us if you have any questions.